Beeler. I'm the media coordinator for Maker Faire Vancouver. And um, I'm just going to talk about Maker Faire really briefly. It's basically the world's greatest show and tell. It's a family friendly event with over 130 different exhibits and activities that you can do at the Peony Forum on June 11th and 12th, for the whole weekend. And come on in, we've got a little sampling here to show you what we're going to have at the fair. Hi, I'm Russell Kramer. I'm playing a new type of musical instrument I invented. So each of my fingers has a light sensor on it, and those work like the, uh, the old light guns, like dug guns. And from these I can get the position of the finger, and positions make different sounds. It can also affect the video signal. I'm Teresa from Toso Woodworks. Uh, we are a woodworking company. Uh, Jesse Toso is the carver and furniture maker. He's made all these beautiful uh, carvings. I make planters and I use up some of the smaller pieces of wood. We try to be uh, as sustainable as possible. We use uh, whatever we can find and create beauty out of it. Hi, I'm Nicole Del Negro. I'm an 18-year-old maker, jeweler, student, and entrepreneur. And this here is Umbrella Bird Jewelry. So I've got uh, all this wire wrap jewelry that I hand make myself. I've been doing this for three years now, since I was 15. I'm now 18, I'm a student at UBC. And in my free time, I make jewelry. My name is Nathan Buxton. I'm with X3D Technologies, uh, x3d.ca. Uh, this is our custom Delta printer prototype, uh, which we're using to develop a silicone mask making technique. So we're going to print the forms here and turn it into a silicone mask. So we're paperback note, and we upcycle used paperback books and turn them into notebooks and other paper good products. So in the process, we upcycle the entire book. And most of the books are found from thrift stores and used bookstores. So we take every part of the book and turn it into something useful. So we preserve the original cover and rebind them into notebooks. And we take the insides and turn them into coasters for your drinks. So you can use these as coasters, as well as the hand-folded art ornaments. Hi there, I'm Steve Dietrich with Maker Lab in a Box. Hi, Kimball Anderson with Maker Lab in a Box. Okay, so what do we have here, guys? So what we have here are uh, some of the tools and equipment that we offer to school boards and, uh, and schools of all sizes throughout uh, British Columbia. And we have uh, right here a Delta printer. Uh, we've got a couple other smaller printers, laser cutters, and what we do is offer this, this to uh, schools along with the training, curriculum, and servicing to the schools. This is actually a uh, nine degree of freedom sensor on each knuckle, and so you're actually able to calculate the position of my finger as I bend it and move it around. Um, combine these all over your hand, you'd be able to do really complex calculations of your hand position. Hello, I'm Cindy Ho, one of the Digital Services Librarians at the Richmond Public Library. I'm Anne Richard, I'm Head of Digital Services at the Richmond Public Library. And we are here to showcase our Launchpad space. Our Launchpad is a collaborative and creative workspace in which we showcase digital learning. Our focus is on STEM learning to encourage science, technology, engineering and mathematics for all age groups. So children all the way up to seniors. So in spring of 2015, Cindy and I created a three-year digital programming plan for the Richmond Public Library, and we now have we now have 39 pilot programs from September through till April 2016. Over 3,000 people have walked through our doors to attend our digital programs. 